needs burp. No! Hey everybody, I'm Kelsey BGK and welcome back. Today I'm going to be attempting to bake like my sim for 24 hours. I have cooked like my sim for 24 hours and eaten like my sim for 24 hours. You can go check out those videos if you're interested. I'm very excited to bake like my sim for 24 hours. I love baking. I feel like this will be like the sims version of the great British Bake Off, except for I'm not British and I know nothing about the technique and the technical side of baking. So I think today will be very challenging. Before we get too far into this, I wanna say a huge thank you to Amazon and Dell for sponsoring today's video. It's our very first sponsored video. <laughs> I am super excited. But if you didn't know, Amazon is definitely the destination for your latest Dell products. Thank you so much to Amazon and Dell for helping me elevate my game. I'm playing on the Dell G3 15 inch laptop, which is so convenient because my secret dream come true is that I can play The Sims beautifully on this laptop with every single expansion pack, every single stuff pack that there is to offer. I got it on this and it works beautifully. It runs so smooth and crisp. I'm going to be playing on my brand new Alienware monitor. It is the prestige pick gadget I needed to elevate in my gameplay. Amazon Prime luckily allows for free and fast shipping. So I got all of this new gear in no time flat. It was so convenient. It is the dream laptop. It's super lightweight. It has a lot of power to play my favorite games. So if you're interested in checking out the Dell products on Amazon that I'm using today, that link will be below in the description. Without further ado, let's open my game and see what my sim will be baking this week. Welcome back into my household in Mount Comoraby. This is Kelsey. I might have downloaded a new Kelsey from the gallery. I'm not gonna lie. I think this was made by a different person than the last one. So technically I've started a new save because this is a different computer, but do not worry. So this Kelsey PHK was made by Eliana. Eliana, thank you so much for making me in The Sims. I love using it. So shout out to you. Okay, so I am going to be cheating her baking skill to the top level so we get a variety of baking options and then of course I'm going to be exiting out of any other thing that isn't baking related of uh, food wise so she's only gonna be baking for the 24 hours and that's all the sustenance she's gonna get. Kelsey right now is not hungry at all so we're gonna just blast through here until she's hungry. She's a master baker. I'm not gonna lie I'm like playing off the new monitor. It's just so big. Oh. I love it so much. She knows nothing but baking at Mischief and gaming. <laughs> if I had this in my living room, I would be so cozy all the time. I'd probably sit up straighter than I do on the couch too. I would like to mm. She's cheerful. Okay, she, she's now gonna read a book. Whoa, this is like my dream day. Troll in the forums, playing mm. video games, watching TV, reading mm. book, just waiting for me to get hungry. Okay, hunger is the only thing you haven't done, girl. Oh, what is it? Bake sourdough loaf? Oh no! She started the day at 4.50 p.m. 4.50 p.m. She bakes a sourdough loaf. Now the problem with this, I'm not a baker, right? Like I don't know much, but I do know that I don't think you can just wake up one day and decide to bake a sourdough loaf. I'm pretty certain and confident that you have to have a sourdough starter, which you have to like build over like weeks. You have to have that around. So like, I either need to like track down a sourdough starter, cause I don't have time to make my own. Look at those cracking egg skills. Girl, get it. Okay, look at her. Woo, she's spinning that, absolutely unnecessary. And then over the back, why would you pour in milk over the back? I don't know. Well, ooh, yeah, inhale the scent of freshly made sourdough. Just mm, so good, oh my gosh. I am both terrified and very excited. Sourdough bread's my favorite type of bread, full stop. Put your favorite type of bread in the comments. Let's see what the next thing she bakes. What is that? <laughs> Play Sim Scuffle. Corp. That looks intense. Yeah. What is, oh my gosh. Look at her, having a grand old time. Wow. Okay, she's gonna go to bed. It's 10 p.m. She's like, had full energy and just keeps it. Okay, what does she got? Have a quick meal. No. She look at her, she's pouting. She's like, why, why can't I just have a quick meal? I'm like, no, that's not what this is about, girl. Okay, what about now? Eat chips, no. 
I'm gonna keep doing this until you bake something. You gotta bake it, honey. Cook grilled cheese. No, no cooking. Bake cereal marshmallow squares. Ah! Oh my gosh, what a flashback. If you guys remember, a year or so ago, I made this giant 100 cereal monstrosity a Rice Krispie Treat. And it looks like this queen is making her own. So call back to that. I'm gonna be going back to my room. It's 8 a.m. Okay, bake. Big cereal marshmallow square. I mean, they'll be tasty. It's just yuck because I cannot have sugar in the morning. When I wake up, if I have sugar, I will have an upset stomach for like the rest of the day. Ooh, you can decorate? I don't care, I want you to decorate it. I know this is kind of cheating in the challenge, but I'm, I'm very curious. <gasps> is she just gonna put sprinkles on top? And I see it? Oh, level up, level up. It looked like she put rainbow sprinkles on, but then looking at it now, I'm like, girl, I don't think you did much. What is that? What did you even put on top? Are those chocolate chips? I'm gonna say it's icing and chocolate chips because that sounds kind of good. That's uh, 4.50 a.m. and 8 a.m. Now she's watching TV. She's a little sad. Why are you so sad? Was it because I wouldn't let you cook any other meal besides baking? What you think about what do you want to make more marshmallow squares no don't make it again you already have oh no 1 25 p.m bake cereal marshmallow this girl is a meal repeater oh my gosh kelsey why why kelsey why? it's four 54 p.m. That's all it feels like for a video. That feels anticlimactic because two of those things are the same thing. So I'm gonna wait it out, see if she makes something. Okay, she's gonna bake. What's she gonna bake? Oatmeal cookies, oh yum! That sounds good though, it's at 10 p.m. Ooh, that's a good time. Make oatmeal cookies. They look a little red, I think. I think those are looking a little red to be chocolate chips, but I'm gonna pretend that they're chocolate chips. No, I guess they can be raisins. I just don't like raisins that much. I think they're chocolate chips. They're definitely chocolate chips, and she made chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. It was delicious dish. She had a very delicious dish. Well, so we've got over 24 hours worth of food, but I think I might swap the make oatmeal cookies up a little bit, and then we might just make two batches of cereal marshmallows. We're gonna make, try to make sourdough loaf, which will be the hardest thing. Then we'll do cereal marshmallow squares. And then at 10 p.m. we'll be making the oatmeal cookies that are definitely chocolate chip and not at all rat raisin. So with that being said, I will go get all the ingredients that I need for these kinds of recipes and I'll see you guys back when we're starting our 24 hours. Okay, so today is kind of my prep day for the big baking 24 hours and I'm trying to find all of the recipes and I literally cannot find a single recipe of like a marshmallow cereal bar that is baked. Just none of them, all of them are no bake and you just let them sit and then they like form, which I think is like the point of the cereal bars is that you don't bake them, especially the ones with marshmallow. Like it's an asset that you don't have to bake them because then you can make them much more easily I guess. I've been literally looking for so long. So I think I'm going to just go with like the traditional recipe. I luckily found somewhere in Los Angeles that with purchase would give you sourdough starter. So I don't have to make my own, which is just such a lifesaver. I got my sourdough starter. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to start the sourdough the night before. And then I think it won't be done until like the end of the 24 hours, which will be kind of funny. Cause she like does it the night before the 24 hours kind of. So I'm pretty nervous about the bread, but the other stuff should be pretty simple. The cereal bars and the cookies sound amazing. Let's look up the recipe. Bake your own sourdough bread at home. So we got 25 grams starter, and then we get white flour, whole wheat flour, and water that's room temperature. Oh, 24. Okay, 24 grams of white flour. And then last but not least, we need 125 grams of room temperature water. There we go, we did it, yeah! That was so like precise. So now we're just gonna mix it all together. And now we essentially let it chill 
until it's like ready for its little floaty test. Could be three hours, could be more. Welcome back, it's 11 p.m. So I'm going to try this float test. It looks like this now. It smells like dough. It's like a little monster. All right, let's see if it floats. It's like so goopy that it does not want to get off of my fingers. Go in there, go in. Okay, it sunk right down to the bottom. You see here. Oh my God. I think I'll just go to bed, wake up in the morning, try to float test it and see where we're at from there. Good morning. It's 9 a.m. I just worked out. This is why I look like this. But I really want to see if it looks different. I'm not going to do the float test until I'm like properly showered and cleaned up, but we're going to take a peek anyway. I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna do a flow test. Okay, I'm finally ready to go. Is it 10 a.m.? Yes. Was I supposed to start this challenge at 8 a.m.? Also, yes. However, I will get everything else organized. So let's start by checking out if my bread is bready. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm just gonna get like a little bit. Here we go. Will this float? You're gonna float. It's gonna be okay. Float, float, float. Get off my finger and float. Ah! <laughs> like step one of like 50 steps and I can't even get past step one. I'm sure like all of you that have made sourdough bread are like laughing at me in the comments right now. Being like, Kelsey, you should have done this. I know I should have done that except for I don't know right now. I thought I was reading the instructions correctly, but now that I'm reading on, it says after all of the ingredients, it was like, weigh out all of your stuff separately. And I didn't do that. I made the de executive decision that I don't care. I don't care if it doesn't work out. I'm gonna make this the best of my ability. If it sucks, then it sucks. This is what it's looking like. <laughs> it kind of looks like bread. But now it's time to make my breakfast treat. Rice Krispie Treat. In an oversized mug or microwave safe bowl, combine marshmallows and butter a microwave for 20 to 30 seconds until marshmallows are puffed up. So I got the butter, add the mini marshmallows. Now I'm gonna put it in for 20 to 30 seconds. Put in my cereal and then I'm gonna coat it and then I'm gonna scoop it out onto a piece of parchment paper and shape it into a bar and then I'm gonna decorate it with some icing. Kind of stir it a little bit. Now I'm going to put in my Rice Krispie Treats. It's nice and spicy. It's just breaking apart in like one little area. Here is my beautiful work of art. And now we're gonna just slowly drizzle on top. They might be a little big for this so, but though, but this looks so silly. Okay, well, I think it's pretty successful. It tastes delicious. Structural integrity, bad. So I'm thinking I need less flakes and more sticky and maybe to let it sit for longer. It's been 30 minutes. Now I'm supposed to fold the dough again, which means taking a piece of dough, stretching it, to peel just before it tears and then folding it back down into itself. By doing this, the dough gets strength and temperature gets evenly distributed. So you made a full rotation of the bowl, extensible stretchy or more elastic and more. Okay, let's see if it's risen at all. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. This is so awkward. Here, I'm just like stretching it and then I'm like folding it back in, but not really at all. I've decided to try to try to warm this up a little bit. I'm gonna turn on my oven. I'm doing my best with my limited capabilities. It's been another 30 minutes. I think it's supposed to be around 78 degrees. Oh my gosh, I think I might've done it. Oh, it's saying it's 80 degrees. That's kind of what it should be though. I'm more optimistic about this situation than I was previously, but it is now, 113, which is almost exactly the time, 125, that my Sim made her second marshmallow. Last time I used unsalted butter. This time I feel like salted butter might taste pretty good with it. So that's probably a full tablespoon of butter. So I'm gonna do a half a cup of the marshmallows. An even better amount. Okay, we're gonna mix this. Last time I think it said a half a cup. I'm gonna do about the same of Rice Krispie. I'm gonna do a half a cup. This is looking a lot more gooey than last time, but I think that might be good. Kind of artist. 
Boom, Rice Krispie Treat. The alarm has gone off, so I'm going to stretch my dough again. But before I do that, I am going to check out my Rice Krispie Treat. It's been in 30 minutes. My Rice Krispie Treat has a much better stability and it's looking really good. So V2 was a move. Mm. I know I already had one of these today, but this is so good. The butteriness, the crunch, the sugar. I'm gonna finish eating this and then I'm gonna stretch my dough. And then I guess we'll just continue on with the process. Would I be top baker? No. But are there any other bakers competing with me right now? Also no. So I'm top baker to me, Hey, It's starting to look, I think, pretty good. So we're going to sprinkle some stuff down. I'm gonna form it. All right, let's get this baby out of here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm delighted. And then we're gonna take a bit, pull it out and kind of like wrap it in. Take another bit out and stretch it out. Wrap it, take this like other part. And we just kind of do this situation. Okay, and then we gotta like pinch it. It's a thing, I don't know. It kind of looks like a huge dumpling, which I love. Okay, look how cute it is. It's like a little dough baby. Okay, we're gonna just wrap up my little dough baby and then I'm gonna stick it in the freezer. I'm gonna go get the little wrapper thing and then I'm gonna see you guys later this evening for cookies and then tomorrow to see the unveiling of my dough baby. Will this dough baby rise to the occasion or will it be a big old flop? Find out on Kelsey Dangerous Cooking Show. Ba -da -ba. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a dessert person, but only like a one time a day dessert person. So I've had two Rice Krispie treats today that were quite significant. So I'm like, not really in the mood for cookies. I kind of wish she'd done more savory bakes. Why does my Sim have such a sweet tooth? Hello, it is evening. So it's time to make oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. One and a half cups with a fourth a cup. One. Cookies are finally cooled, so now it's time to taste one. That's satisfying. It's really good. The chocolate chunks add a special something. I'm so glad my Sim had chocolate in her oatmeal cookies. What are the odds? This is great. <laughs> it's the moment of truth. It is 7.20 p.m. on day three of trying to bake. I don't think it's risen enough, but we're going to bake it anyway because it's too late now. Ah, the time is finally here. I'm so stressed, but here we go. We're pulling this out of the oven. Okay, so we just pop this in here. Pop, whoop, okay, that, that loaf is in, the loaf is in. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're gonna bake for 25 minutes. It's now time to remove the lid from the pot. Ooh, it's smelling like a something. Oh, oh my God, wait, oh, wait a second. Is that a freaking piece of bread, yo? Is that a, oh, what? Okay, good night. Good night. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. I might have done it, I might have done it. Oh my Oh my gosh. This is the moment. It needs to be a dark brown. Oh, that's burnt. That's burnt brown. Oh, burnt. I think it's burnt. No! Okay, I should have been watching it, but it looks like a brown. I'm going to carefully remove the loaf. Okay. I'm going to let it cool until I guess it's cool for two hours before cutting. It's already nine. So I can't cut it until 11 p.m., which is normally when I'm falling asleep. I'll see you at 11 p.m. The saga continues. It's time. Okay, we will find out if this bread is bread. Okay. All right, let's see. It's pretty dense, but there are some little air pockets in there. What do you guys think? I think it kind of looks like it. it I put like a bit of butter on it? No, I'm just gonna eat it. I think 
I kind of made sourdough bread. <gasps> Does it taste like sourdough bread? Yes. Does it taste terrible? No, it actually tastes pretty decent. I'm really proud and this was super challenging, but really rewarding in the end. So thank you guys for taking this journey with you. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time a new video goes live. And as always guys, I'll see you around the internet again very soon. Bye.